We're back in conversation with Peter Mushemi, founder and CEO of Faidi HR, mm -hmm. talking about automating, you know, our HR processes, what opportunities lie in that. But before we get into the opportunities, we need to figure out what problem we're solving. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask Peter exactly what are the challenges as far as HR practice is concerned, specifically in Kenya? All right. Um, so thank you very much. So one of the biggest challenge with uh, HR processes is manual payroll. Mm -hmm. And uh, this applies to anyone who have employees. So what you realize is that everyone who having employees, particularly in the SME space, uh, are doing it manually. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to uh, payroll, because in the HR department, we have different uh, processes. We have yeah. different functions. So one of the biggest function is uh, like payroll. So they do that on Excel. They also do that on paperwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at other functions like uh, employee onboarding, so you can think of that when you're bringing in a new employee, how do you onboard them into your team so that they can be integrated and start being productive from day one. So these are some of the things that we've noted that are biggest problems. So you also have other uh, issues like leave management whereby, whereby they're done on paper, they're mm -hmm. done on files. And uh, we've seen so many organizations uh, tracking the leave balances on paper. So that when someone is even leaving the organization and they are claiming their uh, their balances, yeah. there's always conflicts. Because you see now, according to labor laws, employees are entitled to annual leave. Mm -hmm. And if you're not tracking them, they can even sue you. So we also have s other functions, but basically all these functions are usually done on paper, which becomes the biggest issues that mm -hmm. leads to another uh, problem we call compliance. See, uh, we've, we've seen this issue uh, coming up. Um, also with uh, taxation, whereby we are having new taxes uh, every day. Yes. And for you to be compliant, uh, for example, for you to be compliant with house levy, you have to be able to know how do I, uh, you know, calculate these taxes. Sure. And if you have it manually, uh, what will happen is uh, you will be prone to errors. So whatever you are filing to the regulatory body is wrong. Therefore, one day when these guys knocks uh, on your door, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have penalties to pay so uh these are you uh when clients issue is also on things and insights in an whereby you really need to advantage of uh, you cannot do that when you are manual remember the age of ai thinking of p and that gpt will do some analysis yeah you can only do that if you have, have the on paper, uh, it is going to be very uh, cumbersome for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yes, can do that, uh, but to some extent, for you to make in meaningful insights from that data, yeah. at least you need to uh, you need it to be structured. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, finally, we're talking of collaboration and engagement. Uh, we are in a new era of Gen Zs. You know, these are guys who are very funny in terms of how to engage them as uh, employees. So you have uh, really have to have tools that can help you collaborate with them and engage them so that in case they have any issues, they have a platform whereby they can raise these issues, wh if, if whether openly or anonymously. Mm -hmm. And if you're on manual processes, it's going to be hard. And eventually what you're going to have is a very high turnover, whereby a Gen Z will report to work today, and then after three months they have resigned without even giving you any feedback why they have resigned nothing you know? in the suggestion <laughs> box <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so those are some of the uh, issues that uh, i think are facing hr uh, and uh, i think tech will be able to solve that as we shall see